Hi, I'm Kat, and today we're going to open my October 2022 cohorted box. For all of 2022, every cohorted box has been a brand takeover. This month's box is not a brand takeover. This is a themed box. This is themed Think Pink in support of breast cancer awareness. Cohorted is 39 pound 99 cents per month, and then you do pay shipping if you're not located in the UK. They ship almost worldwide, so there's a chance if you're interested, they do ship to your area. Cohorted does things a little bit different. They bill almost a full 30 days before they send your box out. So if you love this box, the October box, and you sign up today, it's too late. They've shipped out these boxes. Oh my God, I forgot that I filmed this video and I never uploaded it. So I'm uploading it in November. So just pretend that you're watching this like on October 20th and then this will all make sense. Now there is a chance if they had extra that these boxes will be available as a one-off purchase in their shop. But if you sign up for a subscription, your subscription would start in November. So if you sign up today, you would be billed today. And what you'll be paying today is for your November box. That makes it so that they always make sure that they have enough product for all their subscribers, as well as that they don't have too much product and have leftovers. So if you sign up, you'd be billed today for November's box. And then around November 5th, you would be billed for December's box. I usually receive my box about the 10th or so of every month. So you do go a little period after you first sign up where you've paid for two boxes and haven't received one yet. Don't worry, you'll get it. There's just that little bit of a delay because they do bill 30 days in advance. With Coordinated, you do have the ability to put your subscription on hold and skip a month. I haven't done it, so I can't report on how easy or difficult it is, but there's an option right on the website to do so. Cohorted always spoils one item for the next month. So we know that November's box will be a takeover box by Pestle and Mortar. And the spoiled item is their vitamin C Two Phase Serum. As I'm opening this box, I will be keeping a tally down below of the value of each of these items in the size that we receive them. So you can see how far your 39 pound 99 cents goes with a cohorted subscription. Do I start off with the spoiled? item or do I save it for last? I think I'll save it for last. I don't really know what to expect because for the past nine months we have had alternating skincare and makeup boxes and they've been brand takeovers and this is a theme box so who knows what's inside. First from Benefit we have a cute little roller lash mascara sample. Here's what this guy looks like and this is the wand on this one. Also from Benefit, we have a Precisely My Brow Pencil. This is in the shade Warm Light Brown. Here is what this guy looks like. The pencil comes out of this end. I'm not going to swatch it because this is not the right color for me. Ooh, from Strivectin, we have a Multi-Action Super C Dark Circle Brightening Eye Serum. I have big old bags under my eyes and super dark circles so always willing to try any kind of a dark circle product this is so cute this is what the packaging looks like on this guy from living proof we have a shampoo and conditioner full size i know you're looking at these thinking those are so small eight ounces is a full size with living proof so here are these these are the Restore line, so they're supposed to reverse damage. Hair is dead, so I don't really know how you can reverse damage, but if I get shampoo in a box, I don't have to buy it. I couldn't care less about hair care, so buying shampoo is like the last thing I ever think about, so I'm okay with getting it in boxes. And the last item in this month's box is in here, in this little plastic mystery bag. So this is the Redo It Boost. And it's really hard to find any information on this product because Google is blocking almost every search of Redo It Boost with a warning that pops up if you try to click on the Redo It website that says hackers may be spoofing popular websites such as Reddit. Did you mean to go to Reddit? So it's definitely not helping them. Most news articles I couldn't find when I was searching from the US 
because of that, but when I used a VPN on my work computer and VPN to Germany, I was able to find a ton of information on this. So I thought that was interesting. Probably something to think about if you are uh, ever making a product, don't name it too similar to a very popular website. Otherwise, Google is just not gonna let people know you exist. I'm going to play a little clip about this that can probably explain it better than I can. When you apply skincare with just your fingertips, your skin only absorbs 4% of the active ingredients. Why settle for less than you deserve when you can have it all? Introducing Redui Boost. Boost is the world's first smart skincare applicator that delivers up to five times better results in only 30 seconds. As it glides across your skin, Boost pushes active ingredients deeper into the skin, taking your favorite products to the next level. Boost works with any skincare product to create a customized routine that supercharges your skincare. Boost automatically adjusts its waveforms to push the right ingredients to the right depth and delivers a matching LED light treatment for enhanced results. And it all starts here. Simply download the app, complete your personal skin profile, and connect Boost. Scan the barcode of your preferred product and let Boost do the rest. Ready to supercharge your skincare in only 30 seconds? Give your skin the boost it deserves. I haven't tried it yet, obviously. I just took it out of the package. I'll be sure to report back in my November empties video, so it'll be over a month, but I wanna use it before I tell you what I think about it. I don't know if I think this is stupid and gimmicky or if I think this is really cool. I can't decide. It's probably really cool. I mean, it came in my beauty box. I didn't have to pay for it. Well, I paid for it, I paid for the box, but this is $200. I didn't pay $200 for it. So happy to have it, happy to try it. Let's see if it works. So that's it for my October Think Pink cohorted box. Let me know your thoughts down below. Have you heard of the Redo It Boost? Have you used the Redo It Boost? I would love to hear any thoughts you have on it. Like, is it too gimmicky? Does it seem like late night infomercial kind of gimmicky? Or does it seem like that's gimmicky, but it probably works? Like, let me know your thoughts. I know so little about it. I am going to learn about it as I go. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.